Hello everyone and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved, where I will be trying to attempt to finish all the maps, the story maps that is, uh, we'll see about community maps later, but the story maps for now. But yeah, we're on Scorched Earth and today I brought out the, uh, the two wyverns, um, to breed because I need the eggs for kibble. Now in my research, uh, the kibble the uh, extraordinary kibble that you make out of the eggs from the wyverns. You need honey. Now, where do you get honey on Scorched Earth? That was my question because, uh, you know, there's no uh, beehives. Well, lo and behold, there is beehives. And um, literally right next to my house. I don't know how that happens, but uh, everything is right next to my house. <laughs> so, right here... This is probably like, I, I just got lucky by choosing this mountain to uh, build on, I guess. Or maybe this is like a very popular spot and everyone knows about it, but um, I don't know. Either way, the, the canyons that we went to the uh, the cave into, they spawn um, beehives in there. So we're going to see if we can find a beehive to make that kibble. Right now I'm just gathering a few eggs. I'm going to just leave them breeding pretty much. Uh, the health of the eggs does not deteriorate because it's a wyvern egg. So I, I could just leave them here breeding for a while. And uh, I'll just take a tap Yara. We'll go ahead and uh, try to find some beehives. All right. So here's the cave that we were in yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Last video. I'm actually recording this like in the same day. But um, yeah. I don't really know where they spawn, like, exactly, because I've never actually seen them, like, not even in a, in a video, so. Well, there it is. There it is. Um, now I could tame one, um, if it is active. I need to test if it is active, so. Let's just, let's just test it. It is active. Okay. So that is an active beehive. Um, which kind of sucks for me. Because it's really hard to get rare flowers. I mean, I, I guess I could use the... Um, I could try to use uh, the moss chops for that. Because it does have specific levels that can go into rare flower harvesting. So we, we could try that. I know I do have like some rare flowers, but uh, in order for the uh, for the beehive to produce honey, uh, it needs uh, rare flowers inside. Also, I did go ahead and uh, space out the artifacts a little bit. I feel like it looks kind of cool from here because you can't really see the uh, pedestals. They're just floating. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. Right. So we got one of these moss shops here. I'll take the higher level one. No reason, really. I don't think it matters too much. What the fuck? So there was uh, something down there. <laughs> These are the levels I am focusing on. Rare flower harvesting. Boom. Actually, yeah, why not? Three. Did get some rare mushrooms, though. Not exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, it's not too bad. Six right there from one harvest. To be fair, if I could get like three every munch, I get... Or, whoa, even nine. Yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. We got a hundred. I mean, to be fair, this source of um, rare flowers is actually more reliable than any other source, even on the island. Because I don't have to rely on beaver dams respawning and all that. Right, let's go tame that um, bee. But, however, I want to make some flame arrows with this propellant. Because apparently, by using propellant uh, or flame arrows, you can actually break that thing uh, quite fast. I do have a few pieces of ghillie, honestly, so... Hey. Might as well just wear those. Let's see if we can get it from here. Um, it's a little higher. 
Ooh. Yeah, that does do quite a bit of damage to it. Yeah. It's actually taking care of it pretty quickly. I think maybe one more. Yep. Just, uh, slowly move up. There she is. Why is she flying up? Why is she flying up? Oh, she's coming back down. There we go. <laughs> Man, what the hell? I thought it was like, nah, fuck you. There we go. <laughs> right, after an extensive search, um, that was the only beehive. <laughs> So look at this, there's a tower of eggs. Which, um, we gotta need to get up on her. Let's take. Here we go. This well is kind of in the way. It's, uh, it served us well, or, you know, however long it served us. But, um, yeah, I think it was, um, due for it to leave us. Just put this right here. <laughs> to hide the pipes. Also, this doesn't look too bad. Put a bunch of rare flowers in there. Should be good to go. Alright, we gotta make a bunch of this Lazarus chowder as well. And uh, all that kibble stuff. But, I feel like what I'm gonna do is I'm not really gonna focus on kibble right now. I'm actually going to be focusing on this episode is taming our army of Rexes. That's right. I'm going to show you guys something that you probably already know about. <laughs> now, there is a method to finding Rexes on Scorched Earth, and it's it has something to do with fixed positions where they spawn, basically. So, I'm going to put this mating to a rest after this egg. Alright. And then we are going to go out and check out the uh, so-called legendary Rex Triangle. Now, I do need something to knock them out. Which is, um, which kind of sucks that we only have a pretty fucking long neck. Well, I guess I could use this knight to uh, go look for drops and all that. Um, technically, I'll just uh, leave that out. Until I actually find something. After an extensively long search. Well, not really. Um, <laughs> I guess it just turned daytime. Um, I got this blueprint right here. From a purple drop. Of all drops. Which isn't too bad. Mastercraft. A 222. I'll take it. It's better than 100. I'll take it. <laughs> That'll do us for now. It was actually, like, right next to my house as well. Which is the funny part. It is pretty pricey, though. I'm not gonna mind wipe. I'm not gonna do all that stuff. So, we'll just, uh, take it at the value that it gives us. Now, in terms of a, uh, trap for the Rexes, um, I feel like I'm gonna be going for good old reliable Captain Fat Dog design. Uh, using some pillars and a whole bunch of crank darts. Right, I believe it is located over there where spikes are um, in the southeast somewhere. <laughs> I'm just going to wing it, see if I, I can actually find all the three locations. I don't think it's going to be too hard because apparently like two of the spots are right next to the, uh, the spikes. So yeah, that spike in the middle of the screen right there, I believe is one of them. Um, and one of them should be in the lake right here. And another one should be over right next to the 
three spikes in the middle of the screen right there. Um, if I got it right. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, we'll see. Now they do wander, yeah. There's one of them... Level 60, so let's just get rid of that one. And apparently I need to make sure I eat the corpse. Because... Otherwise it's not going to spawn it. Oh, yeah. And there's the second spawn area. Level 25. And then the third. Which is right over... There. Yeah. Wow, that was perfect. Perfect demonstration. Because, you know... It would kind of suck if I was trying to explain where they are and they just, um... Oh, there's an extra one. I guess maybe one of them just wandered off too... Too much. Another one spawned. But yeah. But yeah. Um, once you actually do kill this one, you can always, um, go to the other one. Um, you know, the very first place you were at. And yeah, it should have respawned by now. Let's go check if that's true. I'm experiencing this with you guys. So, if it doesn't de uh, respawn, then, you know, then it just doesn't work. <laughs> I do hope it does, though. Oh, yeah, it did work. Nice. It's like a random area around here. You just gotta find it. Very nice. So I just keep doing this until I get like a 140, 145, 150. Anything in that range. It seriously doesn't even take all that long. There's another one. And it's a 20. And there's another one. 65. Well, I'm just going to keep doing this until... Um, until one shows up. <laughs> it's like infinite Rexes. Oh, it's a tech Rex. Level 12. 1, 4, 5. Um, okay. So I'm going to have to set up the the trap here somewhere. I believe... Just grab these. Make a little cross. Pick this one up. Place... Two like that. Then we raise these two by one. And then we just... Put the rest... Like this. I believe the rest is going to be like that much. Yep. Should be a um, crap good to go. Right, I'm going to just try to lure it over here. Slowly. <laughs> Without attracting the other Rex. I wonder how much the other Rex is. 45. Actually, it should be a, an easy lure. It's a very, very good trap. Very minimalistic. You don't need no gates, no nothing. It's perfect. No, don't get distracted by stuff. Come on. Wow. Holy damage output. Okay, maybe this guy's serious. Maybe this guy's got like some high damage stat. Or maybe it's just because I'm using a wyvern. Wyverns don't take saddles. And... Boom. He is stuck. <laughs> Simple as that. Beautiful. I gotta make sure to uh, clear out the, uh, the area next time. But yeah, that is perfect. Not gonna be able to go anywhere. See how many darts this takes, huh? Gotta miss my uh, rifle already from the island. 
Holy shit, that rifle was so good. To be fair, I got very, very lucky at the start. There we go. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any kibble for now. But, um, raw mutton will do. So... I'm just gonna mark it for now and try and go get some raw mutton. Worst case, I'll just, um, guess I could grab the, uh, cooked mutton that I have back at home. Oh, fuck it. Since we're very close to home, I feel like might as well just, um, go back home and see if there's enough honey to make, um, some kibble. And we can start it up with some kibble and, um, finish it off with, uh, Look to mine. One honey. Beautiful. That should be good to go. Boom. One single kibble. <laughs> we are just very limited on the honey because I only just set it up, so... Kinda makes sense. I mean, the health isn't too good. I feel like we can get like 7k free time. Let's go give him that kibble. And the mud. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's staming up quick. Kinda wish I had that raw mutton on the sleeve, bud. It is what it is. Oh no. The your boys around are making sounds. Right, well, this is gonna tame up soon, so... I think it's a heat wave. No. Tripping. Sandstorm. Boom. Oh, we're not gonna name you yet. Relax. Relax, buddy old pal. <laughs> Check your melee. Oh my. That is not bad. That is not bad melee right there. Okay. We'll keep you. We will keep you. Right now, I gotta run and hide and stuff. It's been a couple of real life days since the last recording, and I gotta come clean with you guys. I fucking died. <laughs> so, I went back to grab some more of these artifacts. Um, all uh, three of them twice more to get like a total of three for each and I think it was the one that was um, on the bottom right yeah that one apparently there's a fake drop uh, a debate <laughs> loot drop um, so, so I tried to jump down to it and it just instantly fucking killed me However, since then, I have recovered. I remade all my stuff and basically everything new, basically. So, it is what it is. Um, they just put, like, debate shit, so... Otherwise, I did go on stream and tamed a couple more, or maybe more than a couple. <laughs> a few more Rexes to breed. Now, I did try my hand on fishing a little bit, just so I could see if I can get um, a rack saddle BP. Now, as I have a prim fishing rod, this isn't really the best option, I don't think, so I'm gonna have to think a little bit about it, see if I can get it some other way, but for now... Right, so, so the racks that I tamed... <laughs> The Rex that I tamed, that you just saw, um, before this, it, it's gone. <laughs> it's, it's fucking gone. So we lost the, the 350 melee. I'm gonna have to go back, see if I can get a better melee one. However, I think we have a really, really good HP one. Yeah, this one. 8,360 HP. Of course, with the imprint bonus and all that, it's gonna be a lot better. Right? That's something. Let's see if this works. Yep. It should. I'm gonna turn the gamma back down. 
storm is over. Unfortunately, I think if this one is the melee, um, both the health and the melee are on females now, so we're gonna have to extract it somehow. I'll do a little bit of breeding, see how that goes. There we go. Turn the gamma back up. All right. Retame is 225. Also, all of these electronics right here are just from Tecrexes. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's tamed up, so let's go check out what kind of melee we got. 300. I do believe we do have a 300, yeah. 330 right here. I was just hoping I could get a uh, 350 again. I mean, a 330 isn't too bad. Alright, we just cryo this. I don't think we need anything from it. But it's ours now, so we're gonna keep it. It will make things a little bit simpler, though, since the 330 is actually a uh, male. So I could just breed the uh, male and the female together and, um, yeah, try to um, get a new breeding pair. Let's pull out our mating pair. Take a little look. Just gotta make sure... Oh, these two have the exact same melee. Interesting. Right. Ah, oh, man. It's very unfortunate we got not so interesting colors. I mean, this one kind of matches with um, the Wyvern. Kinda. Well, the sooner I mate them, the uh, sooner I could put those um, offspring into cryopods and they can level up in there. Here comes the first child. Not a bad level, from what it seems. Um... Okay. Well, it got both stats, right? Yeah, it did. I don't know why the uh, 8,000 caught me off guard. <laughs> I had like 6,000 in my head. But yeah, this is perfect. The first child, female. Very nice. Imprinting done. I will be using this one. Eventually. I know it's a breeder, but might as well imprint it. And this one's got both stats as well. Wait, and it's a male. Okay, well, I mean, I didn't expect to get a breeding pair instantly, but uh, <laughs> here we are, I guess. Scripted! He's cheating! All right, I'm going to retire these two then. With a good mating pair like this, the only thing we're still missing is the saddle. Now, I think I'm going to have to do some research and see which um, which is the best way of um, obtaining a wreck saddle BP on Scorched Earth. However, if you guys have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll make sure to read them. And another vital part of the army is going to be the UT, which I still haven't gotten around to tame, really. Just looked at them here and there on the mountains. I feel like in spirit of this map, um, I am obligated to tame all of its unique creatures, so I think it's finally time I tame one of these little annoying fuckers. <laughs> I'm probably never going to use it, but... Um, Hey, at least I tamed it, right? I'm gonna take it back home. Also, it's got a very nice orange color on it, so... It's not max level or anything, because... I'm just not gonna use it. There's there's no use for a, for a thorny dragon, really. Well, we're gonna let it sit right there. I actually put me to sleep. We'll see. Just gonna 
to hide from the uh, from the darts. It's torpor running. Oh, knocked out. That was pretty easy. <laughs> All right, tamed up and ready. Let's get you saddled up, maimed. Look at him. Look at his big old eyeball. <laughs> now, luckily, um, I've got a shitload of these saddles all around, so. I've got a pretty good one. Right, let's call you. Thorn in my back. Perfect. Nice. Let's test his, um, wood gathering. So it reduces the wood by 50%. That's not really much, is it? Uh, it's just like a beaver, I guess. So it is what it is. We have a thorny dragon now. <laughs> so nobody can tell me I never tamed one. And our breeding rexes are ready. I'm going to turn on breeding for these two. Or mating. But on that note, thank you guys very much for watching today's episode. If you haven't already, make sure to sub. In the next episode, we'll be doing something very special. A um, very important step in our progress when it comes to the uh, tributes that we need. Leave a like if you enjoyed and... Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.